All right, today we're gonna talk about chasing. Chasing in summits on the air is where somebody who is generally not on a mountain tries to make contact with somebody who is on a mountain. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. You can use Soda Watch or Ham Alert or any of your other favorite spotting tools to figure out where all the activators are. Same thing works for POTA, but I'm gonna focus on uh, summits on the air in this channel. So you pull up Soda Watch, you find people who are in your area on frequencies that you have available. So generally for a technician, that would be 146.58 megahertz in Southern California. And then you've got some other watering holes. Uh, 14.061 Morse code is uh, very common. It's right next to the 14.06 a QRP calling frequency on 20 meters. So that gets a lot of use. So, all right, so you find out who's on the air, you find their frequency, and then what? Well, if you're on two meters, it's really easy. You just listen to see if you can hear them. Always listen first in ham radio. And if you can hear them, wait until there's a break and then call them back, see if they can hear you. Pretty straightforward. When they respond, they'll typically say your call sign Thank you, you are, and then they'll give you a signal report. On FM, that'll be uh, your, your readability and your signal strength. Generally, people use 5.9 for a great signal and 5.5 for something that's kind of mediocre. Anything besides that, people are starting to, to pick nits. All right, so that's on, uh, on two meters. On 20 meters, you'll, uh, you'll go on, assuming you know Morse code, or sideband, you can do this on sideband too, but, but with Morse code, you just get on there, you listen again, see if you can hear them, and see if you can copy their call sign. And if they're doing an activation, they'll be repeating their call sign over and over and over. So it's gonna be really easy to, to figure out who it is, because you already know who it should be. So you just need to see if you can copy those letters. And once you've copied them, go ahead and send your call sign back if there's a break. And then if they hear you, they'll come back with your call sign, and they'll typically say, say something to the effect of your call sign, you are 599 if you're strong or 559 if you're not super strong. And then typically they'll just say 73s. Now there's some details to this, including sending your state when you, uh, when you give your call, but it's really easy. And I would recommend, instead of watching YouTube videos, turn off YouTube, turn on your radio, just try it. Just listen for somebody's call sign and try sending them yours. And chances are you'll make the contact. And if you don't, it's ham radio, it's fine. And, uh, and if you do, great, congratulations. You made your, your first chasing contact. So, you know, leave any questions you have in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Um, there's lots of really good videos out there by, uh, by stars like uh, Josh, KI6NAZ, and uh, N7KOM, Tim up in uh, Oregon. So I check out their channels. They've got a whole bunch of really good information. But I'll just keep doing walk and talks on uh, a couple hikes. It's a fun hobby. Talk to you on the air soon.